the Pop T Kit. Oh, this kit can be purchased separately with a little flap on the top, or it also comes inside the Pop Tap Kit inside the same kind of bag, just no flap. So let's open it up and see what we got. We've got two carbonation caps. We got the T and we got a 14 inch little silicone dip tube already cut at an angle. 14 inches happens to be the exact length you need for a standard two liter pop bottle. So I'd have to say this is probably the simplest kit we sell. <laughs> These two are actually identical except for color. So it doesn't matter which one you use for liquid and which one you use for gas. I like to put the yellow one on top because I think, well, that's where the beer comes out. Put that on the side, finger tighten, it's plenty. And then you just shove the dip tube on. And that's it, end of video. <laughs> so the main purpose of this kit is that if you already own the pop tap kit and you wanna have multiple bottles, well then you can take your tap, snap it on the other bottle, take your gas, snap it on the other bottle, Simple as that. But why stop there? You could have as many bottles as you want. If you fill them properly using direct fill method, you can store these in the fridge and have 10 or 20 of them ready to go camping anytime you like. And for you home brewers out there, what a great way to share your beer with your friends. You could fill it properly from say your corny keg, your 20 liter corny keg, into this bottle using star sand. And because this is so inexpensive, you really don't care how long it takes them to get this back to you. I mean, you certainly don't care about the pop bottle. You don't need to give them the regulator and the tap because they'll just drink this in a night or two. So you just want to make sure that it's filled properly when you give it to them. So no matter how long it takes them to drink it, it's still fresh because you want your homebrew to taste the way you intend it. You can also screw one of the teas onto another tea to make yourself a monstrosity like this. Now that gives you the full function of a corn keg with the pressure release valve and everything. Another thing you can do is mix up a batch of PBW in a pop bottle with one of these teas, and then you got a great way to be flushing out your kegs and your lines, anything you want to run this through, you got it in a handy little bottle and you're not wasting a whole keg. It's lightweight, it's portable, durable. <laughs> this pressure release thing can be bought separately on the site, and then we have several different um, pressure release valves that can go in here. Now as for cleaning this, like I said, a rinse should be good enough. But if you really want to get into it, you can take off the dip tube, unscrew with your hand, and that should be good enough for most people. Soak that in some PBW, give it a rinse. However, yes, you can just use a standard pliers and you can unscrew this right here and the spring and the poppet. And inside there is a standard poppet and a standard spring, which we sell in replacement packs on the website. We can take the O-rings off the post. Again, these are, <laughs> these are the same post rings that are on any standard cordy keg in the industry. And we also have these for sale on the website. And there's the last O-ring and the stem. There, we'll even take the O-ring off the poppet for good measure. And the yellow one's exactly the same. So there you go. Soak it in the PBW, whatever you want to do. Give it a good rinse. Let's see how fast we can put it back together. Pop it ring. Post ring. Stem ring. Pop it in. Spring, narrow part on the top. And this is the trickiest part. Getting that first turn in there. Give it a quick little tighten. Just a smidge. And that's it. Fully assembled! Woohoo!